The old saying goes, there's only two certainties in life, death and taxes. Today, I'm going to add a third, an investment that's guaranteed 99% of the time. Hi, everyone. Mark Lichtenfeld, Chief Income Strategist with the Oxford Club. Welcome to State of the Market. Now, what if there was an investment where you are pretty much guaranteed to get your money back? And I'm not talking about expensive and complex investments like annuities or insurance products. This is an investment where you get paid a decent interest rate, have potential for capital gains, and as long as the company doesn't go bankrupt, you get your money back. I'm talking about bonds. Now, wait, wait, don't, don't click out. Don't click out of this video. I know you don't think bonds are terribly exciting, but here's the thing. You can generate income, even score some big profits, and almost never lose. Now, I personally have never lost money on a bond, and I've never recommended a bond that has lost money for my readers. Now, real quickly, here's how a bond works, and then we'll get into how you can invest in bonds without ever losing money. A bond is simply a loan to a company, government, or other organization. You lend the money, they pay you interest, and at maturity, you collect your entire capital back. Now, bonds are based on increments of $1,000. That's called par value. Now, once bonds start trading in the open market, they can trade for any price above or below $1,000. So you could buy a bond at $1,020 or $950. Regardless, at maturity, you get $1,000 back. If you paid $950, you'd make $50 at maturity because you'd get $1,000 back. Now, here's the thing. Let's say you pay $950 for a bond that matures in 2023. But next year, the company runs into some trouble and the bond slips down to $800. Now, as long as you're planning to hold the bond to maturity and you should only buy bonds planning to hold it to maturity, it doesn't matter where the bond is trading because at maturity, you get $1,000. So forget about that $800. The only way you don't get paid the $1,000 is if the company goes bankrupt. Now, keep in mind, while you're holding the bond, you're still getting paid interest. So let's say the bond pays 4% a year, which in this low interest rate environment is not too bad. The stated yield or coupon is based on a $1,000 price. So a bond paying 4% pays $40 per year. But what if you paid $950 for the bond, not 1,000? In that case, you still earn $40 per year, but your yield would actually be 4.2% because you're getting paid $40 on $950, not $1,000. Plus, don't forget, you earn that extra $50 at maturity when you get your $1,000 back. But what I love about bonds is that you get your money back no matter what happens, other than bankruptcy. So let's think about a stock for a second. You buy a stock for $50 and things go horribly, terribly wrong, and the stock price drops all the way down to pennies. You're probably not ever going to get your money back. But with a bond, let's say you buy the bond for $1,000, things go terribly wrong, and the bond drops all the way down to $200. Again, as long as the company doesn't go bankrupt, you get your money back. You get your $1,000 back at maturity. Stock investor, yeah, probably not so much. Now, to ensure that you never lose money on a bond, only buy bonds that are trading below par value, at par value, or just a very slight premium to par value. Now remember, par value is $1,000. Now that way, when you do get your capital back at maturity, you are guaranteed to have made money, especially when you include the interest that you've collected along the way. Now, don't just go buy any bond that's below par value at a discount and assume you're just gonna make the money at the end. A bond that's trading at $200 is doing so for a reason. You need to dig into the company's financials and make sure that the company is in fact not going to go bankrupt. But if you are confident in the company's ability to repay the bond, it can be a fantastic way to make a lot of money. If you bought a bond at $200 and it rebounded even up to $600, that's a 200% gain on your money. So that is big profits in what is considered kind of a boring investment in bonds. So bonds belong in your portfolio. No one should be 100% in stocks. Owning bonds stabilizes your holdings. It helps you generate income and it protects your capital. Now, they may not be as exciting as stocks, but they do make money, and more importantly, they don't lose money. Now, aren't you glad you didn't click out? To learn more about how bond investing can protect and safely grow your hard-earned nest egg, click on the link below this video.